Hello everyone, Petr Achievement here from Vikeanalysis.com. Um, I wanted to post the update on my positions. I closed the goal, very, very strong position. I closed the, the first take profit level. I have the two positions um, on the EURUSD. I closed one on the um, gold uh, and took the one to four ratio, took the 2%, risking 0.5. And the second position on gold is uh, so far I will let this and try to take even one to seven, eight risk reward ratio. Um, as you see, I already uh, put a stop loss to uh, secure the one percent one percent profit, which is the about one point. Uh, this is the one thousand four hundred pips. Um, I put here's my stop loss. So if the price go back, I secured one percent in plus. Um, and I closed uh, near this stage here, my, my first position, and I took about 3,000 pips on the goal. Very, very strong uh, movement. So let's see. Um, of course, I posted everything on the, my thread, and now I will do analysis and again, the reasons why I entered and uh, how uh, you can observe the market in a professional way. And with keeping the risk in control, risking uh, low and gradually establish the account, you can pretty much earn um, so you, can, you can earn very, very successful over the months and, and years. So first of all, uh, everything started with a massive buying climax. Also, that buying climax is spotted on the futures market, which confirmed this buying climax, which is very strong, ultra wide spread of the bar, like 3.4, um, uh, 3,400 pips, uh, this uh, wide, widespread bar and the ultra high volume, it must be a buying climax. Now, that's a first sign for potential the potential distribution may come into the play. Um, then what we got in the next period, supply came in, but it's still volume, it's lower, and this is a no, uh, no supply. There is no real supply here. And the price went a little bit higher here, tested uh, area one, uh, one, uh, one point, uh, 1,270. And there we got the uptrust on the massive volume. So how this can be? If we have the massive volume even higher than the previous buying climax, how the bar can react it like this and finish uh, even below the opening price and create this uh, uptrust? So we got the higher high when this bar and bar closed uh, here near the uh, just below the uh, opening price. So this must be that sellers professional started to sell that some syndicate groups and some um, some groups started to sell at the first stage here. Now they start to sell at this stage and price went lower. But then we got some re uh, reaction here and the buyers came in. But while we're doing this, we created the head and shoulders formation um, and you see the head and left and right shoulder. Now the supply came in and we see the quality breakout and very healthy supply here. Volume is average on the tick volume, but also on the futures market is a very, very fine volume. So this is a valid breakout. Now, we got uh, some lower price and then price retested the neckline the first time here. And this was a weak, uh, we got the weakness. This is a weak bar. Look at the close of this bar, almost near the middle, uh, which is sign of the weakness. Um, again, the key rule in the volume analysis is the weakness when it appears, appears on the up bars. And remember this, when the strength appears, appears on the down bars. So that's how the professionals are uh, observing the volume analysis and price action. For example, look at this bar. This is a bullish bar if you see the, if you watch the open and close. Price closed above, um, uh, closed bullish, but look at where it closed compared to the spread. So it closed even below the middle and it was a very high volume and not just that, it confirmed the neckline from the head and shoulder formation. So this must be that there is a lot of uh, sellers here and syndicate sellers started to sell the goal at this stage on the short term perspective. And I had exactly sold because of this on the four hour. I also watched the lower time frames to see how it's progressing there. But the key point is establish it here, put the stop loss just, uh, just above here. So around 700 pips and um, my first target was at this stage here near the swing low. And uh, this is going very, very good so far, but I closed my, f uh, my transaction one position at this stage here. 
and let um, the second here secure at 1% in plus. So you see, this is what we call the background. And it's very important in, uh, in analyzing the market. You need, to, you need to have the background uh, to, let's say, put the puzzles, put the pieces of the puzzle to create the big picture. Because one bar for itself it means nothing. Okay, but you have a serious sign of the, let's say, you have a few signs, like four or five signs of the weakness. This me, uh, and then, for example, you see the weakness confirming later on and so on. So it must be that professionals distributing this, uh, on, uh, especially uh, we speak about the goal, and they start to sell. And they will sell maybe even massively for the much larger drop since this buying climax was very, very strong. It's 3,500 bips. So I took one four ratio on my first position, and um, you know, um, I was fine with that because I had second position to try to catch even one eight risk reward ratio one to eight one to nine. Um, so again, what we got here in the background, we got the massive buying climax. This is a serious sign of the potential weakness incoming. Then we got a very strong uptrust in a very very high volume. This is another big serious sign the weakness. Now we created a pattern head and shoulder formation meanwhile and we got a successful breakout and another weakness of the neckline so price went here then uh, pretty much I uh, I remember I got two positions at this stage here uh, but uh, I put a stop loss and break even when price was here when I saw this strength incoming look at this bar look at this bar so it's, 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 it was a strength and price went higher I took the stop loss and break even here, but I reopened it after this bar finish it. Okay, this was a, for me then clear sign, another sign of the weakness and confirmation of the um, strong background and strong selling incoming. So um, the my target here is pretty much the area where we started this um, this strong upward moment. Or if you go to the daily time frame, this is exactly swing low from this stage here. So I want to try to catch that. That's area 1,192 area. So there is about 2,500 pips um, for my second target if we reach that. But again, I will watch the price section and then observe the price section to see maybe I close earlier, depend on the price section, or maybe I lower my stop loss much, you know, how the price progressing after the sun correction, I maybe a lower st stop loss and secure more and more profit if the if my take profit uh, uh, won't be reached in the next period anyway this is example of real um, of real professional selling and this is how you can absolutely uh, observe the market because without the volume you actually don't have a clue what's going on you know just chart patterns or just um, whatever you use in your trading, Elliott wave theory, um, just supply demand zones, uh, whatever you use technically, it must be confirmed by the volume. And you must understand much um, deeper volume analysis, advanced volume analysis to, to create even more profit and to uh, collect, you know, to have the edge what's going on, you know. Without the volume, um, I can show you plenty of the fail, let's say the, chart formations you have also uh failed uh, when we got the buying climax and then uh if you don't have the volume actually the volume didn't show the buying climax and you thought it was a buying climax so you cannot watch just volume you cannot just you cannot watch just the price action and, and trade purely on the on the uh on the price itself without the volume so they are together what creates the liquidity you want to move move the market supply demand and that activity we read on the volume. It's for any market. On the forex, it's a little bit different because it's a wild. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's not centralized market, and there is no centralized volume. But tick volume is also rep very representative. And if you have, uh, if you use the futures market, and stock market together with tick volume, you have a very very good uh, view and what's going on with activity on the specific instrument you watch. So. Absolutely, you can you can track the activity and so on uh, on the forex as well. And 
Uh, that's about the gold. So this is a uh, gold. It's going very very good. Um, I'll show you here. So gold is in good plus. Um, so far three thousand three hundred pips. I'm aiming for it will be very very strong if I can catch um, six thousand pips. I was risking uh, about seven hundred pips um, in this setup uh, with a point five percent on each position and um, that's how you do um, now I will cover just to my USD setup which is so far secure in the break even I have two positions again two positions uh, each position risk is 0.5 so total risk on the euro is 1% but so far uh, I'm secured my position so even if the price go here I will not lose anything and uh, uh, my first take profit level uh, is set around 1.1080 where the, this demand massive started and this buying climax started so i'm expecting testing of this area and that will bring me uh, a potential potential um, one to i think it was a 60 pips risk in this setup so about one to three ratio if i catch this one my first target why i build it Pretty much, I saw the background. It's a strong sign. The weakness of futures market show also volume spike and so on, and also weakness. Um, so you got the buying climax there, and uh, later on another ex expansion of the buying. But look at the weakness appearing here. It's a four-hour time frame. So look at this weakness on the on the high volume bar close below the middle. This is a first serious sign of the weakness. Supply must overcome demand. This must be as sellers are selling. Uh, stepped in and started to sell the confirmation of this is actually came a few bars after when we got the up trust bar this is uh, together with buying climax in the background and this weakness up trust this is already very strong signs of the weakness and then the result is this supply which came in so now we have a supply came in up trust weakness and buying climax now we have another up trust on the correction and no demand bar and all of this absolutely uh, indicates one thing this professional is really selling here and I sold here as well on this no demand and um, so far I'm in plus like 80 pips and I'm aiming for 180 and my take profit is basically the support level where we where the price struggled to go here so I will not chase my first target below this I want to put here and book my profit scale uh, scale out if I if I can if the price reach this my second take profit in case the price break this uh, this where the massive buying climax started area one point zero eight hundred forty okay so if I catch this I catch four hundred pips but this is a more like short term uh, target my second target and this is a more likely that we may see this hundred pip drop in the next day or two if there is enough supply anyway how the price is progressing and if everything is good I will lower my stop loss uh, depend on the, how the corrections will be big and on that way manage my position and scale out if um, something goes wrong so for example like I show you no goal why I put stop loss on the break even here okay because this was the uh, action the reaction and um, uh, from today this was the maximum for the buyers was this one 450 pips that's it you put here now how, when you see the next uh, correction or something like that when you see that market taking some breath you know and the buyers came in to do some corrections and so on then I will lower this stop loss to lower price and secure even more uh, even to one to four ratio uh, target and on that way uh, await my final target again final target on gold uh, 1190 and uh, my first take profit on the euro 1.1080 so that will be the update for the uh, my positioning and uh, in the market what we may expect it so so what's the uh, what's the, the, the point here the point is that volume is the key indicator for professional traders volume and price action together is all you need you don't need um, fancy indicators you don't need a bunch of uh, indicators stochastics uh, you know a bunch of things to put on the chart 
just to the thing if you have the more indicators that you will have the better results it's actually totally opposite the less is better but not less like less to have nothing you have you need to have knowledge about the volume analysis um, when you spread Vicof analysis and a knowledge about the price action you can use Fibonacci tool for example for take profit for exiting um, retracements and expansions to help you in your analyzing but not to uh, create and base trade on Fibonacci that's the key point you base trade on the background on the price action the volume but you can use tools like Fibonacci um, who can uh, tell you possibly exit uh, levels or take profit levels or possibly retracement levels you know and so on also chart patterns uh, or Elliott wave so you have a lot of chart patterns like I use the head and shoulders in uh, I spotted head and shoulders in the goal on the goal and uh, it was validated by the volume and this is a very good because chart patterns on very very powerful pretty much like head and shoulders reverse head and shoulders double top double bottom you have the um, flags pennants um, triangles and so on they're very good but they must be validated with volume and they must be in that background to confirm that so if I got um, um, for example the head and shoulders formation here I need to see the weakness um, here in the successful breakout and uh, this happening so this is the why the price reacting reacting like this you know when you have the weakness in the background creating the weakness and the sellers we know that using the volume price action analysis that now you spot the, f the chart pattern this is a very extreme very very strong okay so again you can use the the key f the key two 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 key things price action for itself and volume volume price action analysis that's a key thing now additionally um, to help you to even uh, to, to create more confidence for your setup you can use if you can find chart patterns um, together with that also there is a uh, some of uh, some traders who use the Elliott web theory or whatever you use you must understand the volume because the volume drives the market the activity pretty much of supply demand is what you drives the market any market the imbalances of the supply and demand creating the big moments okay when you have some imbalance that create a big moment if the market is in balance and supply and demand is in balance that's what we call the trading range or the sideways but the imbalance it's creating the liquidity and potential professional setups later on um, again um, yeah back to the my key points I wanted to tell you so you don't need any uh, fancy indicators or stuff like that forget about that uh, that's totally non-important on the for on, on any market um, robots or stuff like that uh, trading the news trading before the news trying to pick up the news or stuff like that forget about that that's absolutely gambling and you will be like 90% of the traders but if you seriously want to become professional you must think like professional okay that's the one first things I changed in my mindset like four or five years ago once I start to trade professionally and be the full-time trader so you need to think like them when I said them I think like banks like hedge funds like smart money like smart investors because if you don't think like them if you think like the most of the traders uh, like 90% of the traders you will be like them and they are negative or they have no success okay so you want to follow the strongholders money and to follow that you need to understand the price action volume uh, coloration and of course to have experience on that and to spot that with your eyes so it's a not easy job to spot this it's a not there is nothing easy but with a lot uh, with the work with um, a lot of practice and with the proper knowledge absolutely uh, can become a professional and full-time trader later on that's it for this I keep this is um, um I hope I helped you um, if you follow my work I hope also you took some good pips with me 
uh, I post pretty much this gold setup and euro um, uh, on the my Trident Forex Factory journal. Um, uh, of course, if you want to learn uh, the the way I trade um, and uh, how in the how to use the volume analysis to 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 learn the volume price action analysis and um, how to manage positions, pretty much the the routine I, I'm doing in in, in full like full time trader. Uh, you can contact me. I have a mentorship program, Seven Days Curse. Um, I also have the private one to one coach. If someone also interesting in that. Um, so I absolutely can teach you everything um, you need and later on once you, I teach you it's all about you and you and how much you will practice and um, work on yourself pretty much um, that's it you can contact me on Skype for more information about their potential corporations Skype is uh, I will write you on description better dot but I will write in the description of the video my Skype username um, I hope you enjoyed this video um, trade safe and we talk on the trend. Bye-bye.